So in this session, uh, first we'll go for function keys. Uh, function keys means right from F1 to F12. Okay, like F1 is help, F2 is to expand or uh, to enlarge the command window, F3 is uh, object snap, etc. Okay, so first we'll talk about this function keys. After the function keys, we'll talk about the draw commands. Okay, so function key is also uh, most commonly we are going to use not all not all the function key but like uh, F3 uh, constantly we are going to use and F12 is for uh, this dynamic input like this we have uh, this function keys which is also important at the time of working. Okay, so what are those function keys uh, we'll discuss uh, in this uh, topic now. Okay. So let me share the screen so you can please make a note of this. I'll write on the screen quickly you can copy you see just I'm showing the function key which is commonly used and related to what related to this uh, 2d site we have some function keys related to uh, so we have some function keys uh, related to uh, the 3d side also so at this level we are, we are not bothered for the 3d because we are dealing with the uh, 2d only okay so let me continue so i'm i'm showing uh, the commands or the function keys which is commonly used uh, related to the 2d side so first uh, you can write the heading function keys in that first is f1 hmm. f1 you can write for help anytime uh, if you want help you can press f1 or else if you want specific uh, information for a particular command for example, you see, when I type L enter, now I want help related to the line, line command, L is a line, then with the continuation of command, press F1, you see, it's operating. We can find, suppose L enter, then F1. Can you see this line command online? Similarly, for example, if you want uh, help related to the circle command, say C enter, then press f1 means activate the command first then you can directly get the help or or else if you not activate the command and directly if you press f1 you'll get the general information general help so you, then you need to find out your topic under the search but the quick reference is activate the required command then press f1 you'll get the help related to the current command this is very useful this we can call quick reference okay getting my point so this is f1 second you can write f2 f2 for command window command window command window means you can find the command window or command line here for example if you do some calculation or if you uh, uh, if you find some dimensions on the screen and that you want to see in the command window then what you do for example here if i type if i draw a line from this point to this point now I if I measure this line distance by using the command di we have we'll discuss this later at present I'm just selecting those two points to get the dimension so you see I got this information distance 955.8 to something now the same I want to see in the command window then press f2 you see here you can find the same same 955.82 dimension whatever the dimension at this level just I'm showing this how to enlarge the command window f2 is to enlarge the command window again f2 to hide the command window okay and this these things are useful whenever you want to get any information from the command window you can press f2 to enlarge that okay then f3 is very very important very useful f3 is a uh, snap setting uh, sorry object snap object snap in short snap settings and we have uh, command also os os enter to adjust this os snap settings i'll show you the object snap in short we can call os snap and uh, the purpose and the use of your snap this is very useful for referencing point of view you'll get the midpoint you'll get the end point you'll get the center point etc that will be easy for drawing to pick the point and very useful i'll show you how to use this and uh, you see this f3 here you'll find uh, in the status toolbar this is object snap you see object snap f3 uh, presently it is on when i click this this will off 
so I'm going to switch on this now I'm interested to see the settings of this uh, OSNAP so how to get the settings for the OSNAP for this we have a command called OS OS enter you can make a note OS and now you see here you'll get the window in this window you can go for select all at this level I'm selecting all so that I'll get the end point midpoint center geometric center node all these points as a reference but sometime it will create confusion if when you switch on all this okay in that case uh, we have a shortcut also to uh, to follow but at this level we we have we have simple drawing so i'm going to switch on all this and click okay okay now for example suppose if i draw a line already we have a line you see now from this line mid i want to draw one more line so again line enter now you see when i take the cursor close to this can you see the green color icon or line this is the nearest means when I click this it will catch the line this is the nearest point and here is the end end uh, end point this square is the end cap uh, oh, sorry end point and at the middle you see when I take the middle you can find the midpoint here again end point in case of circle you'll find the sun uh, center point etc okay so if I want to start from the end of this just take the cursor close to this you will it will highlight and when it is highlight click this it will catch that point and if you switch off the OSNAP then you see suppose I'm going to switch off this OSNAP by pressing F3 now again if I take line taking this from this exactly from the point you see I'm trying to do this I'm drawing this line but now when I zoom you can notice it's not you see how it's close but many times it is difficult I have practiced so I got this but again when I press F uh, line enter I'm trying to take from from the from the close point first of all it is difficult it's a waste of time even when I try also there is no guarantee you see it will match to the exact point okay so this is very basic uh, in AutoCAD AutoCAD users for AutoCAD users very basic or snap nothing but object snap F3 F3 is a command and OS is a uh, for settings to switch to uh, to select uh, all the OSNAP settings or the required. One. Okay, suppose if it is switch off, then again line command. Then if you want to get this OSNAP object snap temporary, then right click. Sorry, line enter. Hold the shift key, right click. Hold the shift key, right click. And I want only endpoint, so I can get this endpoint. And you see, only endpoint will be visible, not any other things. This is a shortcut in case of big drawings. Remember this is important in case of very big drawings what happened if you switch on this or snap by and when you pre, uh, when you type F uh, OS and when you select all this and if you switch on this or snap for very big drawing when you want to pick any point it will show you multiple options and when you click which is highlight it will catch that will create a lot of confusion in that case in that case you can switch off this or snap and as per the requirement for example I want to draw a circle from the mid of this line so C enter C circle uh, C command we'll discuss today today only at this level just I'm showing uh, to pick the midpoint now I want the midpoint of this uh, circle it is showing here why because the or snap is on but you see as I said for big project for big uh, drawing uh, if you switch on that will create a lot of confusion at one point you'll find uh, at one area you'll find multiple points okay in that case what we'll do we'll switch off to avoid confusion then how to get the midpoint in that case the shortcut you can make a note shift hold the shift key then right click then you see you'll find the list of this uh, snap uh, uh, this object snap here I'm going to select same midpoint only the midpoint will be active you see midpoint of this line this line this line this line and this line I can pick this I can draw the circle rectangle whatever okay so if you switch off if you want to access that object snap then simply the shortcut is hold the shift key right click of the mouse okay so so that you'll get the required you'll get the list of uh, object snap and you can select the required option okay hope you're following this online these are some advanced options you see the shortcuts uh, many people don't know the shortcuts they know how to switch on and off okay but how to get this uh, if it is switch off how to get this quickly so this will help you in in case of big project that this will help you to avoid confusion uh, switch off that and temporary if you want to use then hold the shift key right click and uh, select the required OSNAP only that will be visible that other will not be active okay next 
and off snap setting OS enter you can select for example in one drawing you want only the end point midpoint and center point okay in that case you can clear all I can select only the three so only the three option will be visible other option will not be visible will not be active again other option if you want again hold the shift key right click you can access any other option also at present the drawings we are dealing with a small drawing so I'm selecting all okay even though if it is on in the setting if it is not select it will not work so be careful hmm. even though if it is on if you're not getting the uh, or snap so make sure that type OS and select whether whether this all is selected or not okay next so OS is for uh, or snap uh, setting shortcut but when you type OS you'll get the drafting setting window in that you'll find the polar tracking snap grid all other option also that will that also will discuss in the next topics okay so at this level I'm going to cancel this so I think what what is f3 object snap which is important uh, next you see f4 f5 will use in 3d so I'm going to skip sorry f4 and f6 will use in 3d so I'm going to skip next f5 f5 is ISO plant and you see f5 is used with the snap settings especially for isometric uh, isometric uh, isometric means uh, as a engineer mechanical or ethical or you know this isometric uh, drawing means what in the 2d plan we can create the 3d view by taking 30 degrees or 45 degree angle for example here is a 2d plan so if I want to do the 3d view I can draw the line with the angle You see what I did here this is like a cube now this is like a 3d view but I did in the 2d plan how I did because I take this 30 degrees angle so this is isometric drawing right so remember iso plant is used for creating iso isometric drawing with snap settings to what is snap setting I'll show you first then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss about this so snap setting directly f9 f9 is for snap what is snap I'll show you so I'll show you snap first then using snap settings how to use this ISO plant F5 I'll show you to create isometric drawing okay which is also the advanced option uh, because uh, creating isometric drawing comes under the advanced uh, <laughs> option so let me show you this F9 first F9 nothing but snap so you can uh, directly tap the command snap enter to, to do the snap settings in this snap we have two options I'll show you both you see I'm typing a snap s n a p you will get on off aspect ratio legacy style and type if I on first you see first uh, let me enter the settings suppose 10 10 if I enter or I'll go for say and uh, let me check the let me set the limits first to avoid confusion I'm going to set the limits 0 comma 0 100 comma 100 zoom all now the limit is uh, 100 comma 100 now snap setting s n a p snap I'm going to set snap as 10 uh, so 10 means what and you see and the snap f9 I'm going to press f9 you can notice in the status toolbar here is a snap mode f9 right now it is on off means gray on means uh, light blue okay so if it's on now now you see when it is off and if I set the snap as 10 now, so you see now my cursor will jump when I take the line command you see the cursor will jump first point and next point it will jump directly to 10 units in between it will not stop getting a point you see starting first point second point directly it is jumping to 10 units 10 mm because I set the snap setting 10 then in this case also 10 if you want separately you can go for horizontal vertical snaps but I set both horizontal vertical as 10 okay so this is one option of snap if you have the fixed dimension we can just set that uh, snap settings say what are the dimension and first point and second point third point directly you will get the required drawings uh, with the same same dimensions in that case you can use getting a point this is first option is snap but in a snap we have isometric so again snap or you see here OS again the OS command I'm using for snap and grid you see in the snap I can go for 10 and 10 for same original vertical but if you want and then this is 20 sorry next L enter then you see in X direction 10 but in Y you can notice it's 20 now two, uh, two units so like this you can if you want you can set uh, X and Y separate option also okay but this is not the end 
in the snap settings say OS again in the snap settings here we have style snap type by default is rectangle I'm changing this to isometric snaps remember if you want to create isometric drawings the first settings this is advanced option you can make a note of this if you want to create the isometric drawings for isometric drawings first snap setting should be isometric snap okay not the rectangle snap I to isometric snap and click OK okay Iso isometric means by default you will get 30 degrees so select this isometric snap click OK then what you do just temporarily I'm going to hide this you see now the grid you can see the grid the grid is totally uh, changed to 30 degrees now when I draw a line you will get in 30 degrees only so I'll enter you see first point I'll just switch off the snap setting because I don't want the snap now off but or what I did I changed the style to isometric it means snap is off you see snap is off when you select this on snap is off but the the style is isometric so the total grid changed to 30 degrees now I'll enter and you see here I can go state but if you want to go in different you see you can go in this direction in this direction but if you want to go in the left direction then in that case we can use f5 iso plant you see this direction I'll show you one example I'm going to switching off this grid control G you can switch off the grid or f7 just to avoid confusion now I'm interested to draw one isometric so line enter you see the you can see this uh, cursor also this also not the state one it is changed to 30 degrees first point in this drawing say 10 I'm going to draw a cube now I want to go up or else let me draw this first then again 10 in this side 10 then C enter then again line I want to go up so if you want to take the line up you see I'm, I, it's not allowing I cannot take that line up so in that case press F5 this will change you see this will allow to draw the line in other direction also in different orientation so next say 10 now 10 down okay similarly here 10 in this direction say 10 in this direction 10 and then again f5 it will allow and then press and then one more line from here to here you see what i did i did if you see with some left side angle it's like a cube now or else most commonly the isometric we are using for piping like uh, most commonly in the in the plumbing uh, for plumbing point of view we need to submit the isometric drawing also for installation on site even sometime for HVAC and for uh, fire fitting pipe also sometime if, uh, if if the in the plan is not uh, get the clarity then in that case we need to prepare isometric so here say line in suppose the pipe is going straight then the pipe is turning on the right side then the pipe in this way then it is going like this and down and connecting to the fixture is a plumbing fixture okay getting my point so at this level I'm not showing the isometric drawing just I'm showing how to create the isometric drawing so snap settings so make sure that the snap setting isometric is on then uh, what you do just pressing F5 at the time of working we can change the direction got in online this is important when when you create the isometric drawing which is comes under advanced drafting you can use this option to create the isometric okay so you should know this so that you can able to deal with the isometric drawings clear online so I'm going to change this to back snap you see uh, again OS enter then you see snap and grid I'm going to change to the rectangles and when you switch on the grid you can find the normal grid. okay and then uh, after this I think you got the combination of f5 and f9 how to use this f5 and f9 